Are you guys tired of finding oversaturated products? You know, you, you source a product, you, you try it for a little bit, all of a sudden you see that there's 50 other people who entered that same market within a month or two month span, right? Are you tired of that? Well, I'll tell you why that's happening. It's happening because everybody is using the same product research tools, okay? They're typing in the same criteria on the same web apps, whether on Jungle Scout, Helium Tender, Viral Launch, and they're coming up with the same results, right? They find a winner, they think it's, it's a great product. Well, guess what? 50 other people saw that same exact product you did because they typed in the same exact criteria that everybody else is telling them to type in, you know, on YouTube or wherever, right? So in this video, I want to talk about unique ways to do product research, okay? Product research, you know, that way no one will ever find the products you're finding, okay? And I'll say this a thousand times if you watch, you know, more than one of my YouTube videos, and that is to be creative, okay? You have to be creative when you're doing product research. You have to find ways to find different product ideas without tons of other people doing the same thing you're doing, okay? And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do product research in a creative manner that no one else can possibly mimic or copy, okay? So if you're struggling with product research, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this video. You're gonna to watch to the end. That way you can implement it step-by-step step into your business and find yourself a winning product. But before we get started, my name is Cameron James. I just wanna say welcome to my channel. If this is your first time viewing uh, in this channel, I go over my journey, you know, three years selling on Amazon, being a seven-figure seller and doing this full-time, okay? I love Amazon, it's changed my life uh, for the better and uh, I have no regrets at all. You know, I work from home, which is fabulous. But if you wanna learn more about Amazon, stay up to date with all the Amazon news, tips, tricks, strategies, right? Or just follow along with my journey, please subscribe down below. It means the world to me and hopefully I can help you start your own journey, okay? But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into smashing that like button. Okay guys, sorry about that, just had to do it. Uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, Graham Stefan, does it all the time and it actually does help push my video to other viewers, which is my goal to get this in front of as many people as possible. That way they stop finding oversaturated products, right? But seriously, let's get into it. All right guys, so we're inside Helium 10 Tools. This is the software I'll be using for this tutorial. Don't worry, you can use the same exact strategy with Fire Launch, Jungle Scout, Helium 10, does not matter. Uh, Helium 10 is just something I got requested to do more tutorials on uh, from my audience. So I wanna show you guys how to use Helium 10. If you're interested in Helium 10, I do have a discount code and link down in the description below. So if you're gonna get it, might as well save money, right? And so check that out if you guys need to, but don't worry, you can use the same exact method with Viral Launch or Jungle Scout, so don't go anywhere. All right guys, so we're gonna be using a tool called Magnet2, all right? And this is a keyword research tool. Again, Viral Launch has one called keyword research tool, I think, and then Jungle Stat has one as well. I'm not sure what it's called, but I know they have one. They all work well, uh, so no need to worry there. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna find unique ways to find different keywords and long tail keywords that are getting tons of searches per month, but no one else is filling the demand, okay? So let me say that again so you know why I'll get so excited talking about this method, okay? So what we're gonna do is actually find real demand, right? People searching in different keywords on Amazon. So they're searching and actively searching for this product per month. And what we're gonna do is find holes in the supply, right? Classic demand and supply. And then we're gonna fill that supply up with our own product. And we know it's gonna do well because we know, you know, thousands or 2,000 or 3,000 or 4,000, maybe even tens of thousands of people are searching this per month. So they want this product, right? And so this is one of the better ways to do product research and to make sure that people are gonna buy your product, okay? So one of the ways I figure out what to type into this keyword research tool to get ideas and get ideas for long tail keywords is actually going to Amazon here and going to best sellers, okay? And so one of the things I like to do is I like to find products that are doing super well on Amazon, right? Selling thousands and thousands. And obviously we can't compete with those guys, right? But what we can find is sub niches within that giant niche, okay? And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, just hang tight and we will talk about it, all right? So we're gonna go down. So let's go into home and kitchen here, guys. I picked this category because it's massive. It's got top sellers doing massive amounts of numbers. If you're not sure what this best sellers list is, it's Amazon literally ranking the best selling products within each category, okay? So Amazon's giving us real data to see what is selling the best on Amazon, okay? So we're going down, and what we're trying to find is, is a product that we know there's certain variations to, certain sub niches to, and you know, we don't have to worry about it selling well because it's on this list, right? If it's in the top 100, top 1,000, we know it's doing hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales per month, okay? So we're gonna go down, guys, and we're gonna look for a product that we know 
has different niches to it, right? That sells a ton, right? We already know that. And that could have different sub niches that would be easy to manufacture, right? And so we're gonna go down, 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 right? Until we find something that catches our eye. So the first thing I'm seeing right away is tons of shower curtains that are doing really well. Uh, you know, if there's multiple ones, right? There's one, two, and there's one up here, right? Three already in the top 100, then we know that these guys are doing very, very well. And already in my head, I know there's tons of variations of different shower curtains we can have, okay? So let's do more research on shower curtains real quick and see what we come up with, okay? So we're gonna type in shower curtain here, guys. And we're gonna hit get keywords. It's gonna take a second or so to load. Okay, guys, so once that's loaded, we can go down and go down. And we can see there's over 12,000 results of keywords and long tail keywords that are related to shower curtains, okay? So that's super exciting. We're gonna have tons of options of, of different niches and sub niches of shower curtains we can maybe fill, right? And, and do that knowing that we're gonna do super well because there's already search volume there, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is start searching by criteria to limit this 12,000, 13,000 list of keywords down into a very smaller list uh, of more targeted keywords that are gonna fit what we're looking for, okay? So first of all, magnet IQ score, I usually don't put anything in this, but know the higher the score, the more opportunity helium 10 is saying is in that niche. So it's just a good marker to kind of alert you to know, you know, maybe you should take a look into this field. Uh, next is search volume, guys. Uh, this is the biggest one. So I wanna find keywords that are at least doing over a thousand searches per month, okay? Because then we know they're getting at least enough searches to do, you know, five to 10 sales a day, which, you know, if you're making, you know, $10 profit per sale, you know, doing five to 10 sales a day, it's $50 to $100, you times that by 30 by a month, you know, you could be looking at $1,500 to $3,000 in profit, right, on one product and just at the ground floor, okay? Uh, so that's what we're looking for right now, guys. So next is word count, guys. I'll leave this at two. You don't wanna put this at one because you'll get keywords like liner, curtains, bathroom, and they're very generic. What we're trying to find is long tail keywords, uh, so keep that at two of there. Competing products, I usually don't mess with right away, guys but you can put this in if you, you know exactly what you're looking for, right? If you're, you know, see a common trend uh, in the patterns of what you're looking for, but I like to go a little broader and then start to narrow it down uh, just by just looking myself, just because, you know, you're the final checklist for a good potential niche. Uh, product software is just a tool to help you, you know, get there a little quicker, right? It's not your final check, guys, uh, so just keep that in mind there. So next, guys, there's match type, Amazon choice, right? Advanced filter, which just, you know, if you want to make sure there's certain words inside the phrases you're looking at, you include it here, right? So like shower curtain would be great if you're looking for variations of that. But let's just try this first. And once that's loaded, guys, we can see that we're down to 212 keywords now instead of what was it, 13, 14,000? Okay, so this is a great list to start out to try to find different niches that uh, we can fill, right? So the first thing I like to do is, is sort by search volume, okay? And we can see these guys are doing massive amounts of numbers, right? 228,000, 205,000. 200,000. So, you know, this looks great, but again, if they're getting that much search volume, they're probably pretty generic uh, and they're probably going to be very saturated. Okay. So I'm actually going to scroll down uh, and at least get underneath that 10,000 range. Okay. Of searches per month. But even further, I know if I go down to 4,000 uh, to 2,000 to 1,000, I like to be in this range uh, here, you know, 4,000 to 1,000. If, if you wanted to put a number on it, obviously don't limit yourself there, but what we're gonna look for here is, is this something that catches the eye, right? So cute shower curtain, right? So what defines a cute shower curtain? So we can look real quick. So we can go down here, guys. Let me see the first one's a pink shower curtain, right? It is pretty cute. I uh, can't deny facts there. Uh, but we have 7,300 searches right here. But the cool thing is, you know, people aren't just gonna buy the first thing ranked, right? They're gonna buy something that catches their eye, right? Maybe they live in Arizona and they like cactuses. Uh, maybe they like this design. So we have different options here. Uh, 855 here, uh, 88 here. Let's take a look at the numbers, right? At first glance, I don't like the competition at the top, uh, but if they're doing crazy amount of numbers, uh, maybe it is an opportunity for us, okay? So the top guy here is doing 612,000. Uh, the next guy's doing 26,000, 9,000, 21,000. So the search is good. Again, I just don't like the dominating uh, facts of these high review ones up top here. Uh, so let's just keep looking here. So we are at Cute shower curtain, stall shower curtain. What's a stall shower curtain? Okay, uh, so these are smaller ones, right? 
And we have heart large reviews here. So let's just go back. Again, you're not gonna find a product, you know, on the first, second, third try, just like normal product research. We're gonna have to go through and just keep looking and looking uh, and be patient, right guys? Because product research is all about patient and finding the right one and just coming after it each day and attacking it, okay? So we're gonna keep going down here. Boho shower curtains for bathroom. Okay, I'm not sure what Boho is, but if people are searching in that many times a month and buying it, I'm all in. I'll figure that out, right? I'm guessing it's just a kind of a design pattern. Uh, we got Boho striped here, 185 reviews, 102 reviews going down. This fantastic turtle here, but I believe this is an Amazon Choice uh, tier right here. So we're going to ignore that, go down. Okay, we got the next one at 81 reviews, 45 reviews, uh, 809, uh, 8 here, 55. Okay, guys, let's check the revenue real quick while we're here. So we can ignore these two sponsored listings, right? Go straight to the organic. Uh, so we got 21,000, 26,000, 18,000, 11,000. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you some good news here and some bad news, what I'm seeing. Uh, you know, I, I see 855 reviews, 185 reviews, 405, 809, and they are doing the most sales out of anybody. The good news is though, and something that I preach about is sales depth, okay? And so this guy doing 11,000 and 81 reviews, that's fantastic. If you can have this many sales with 81 reviews compared to you know 855, 185, that's incredible, guys. That means on the ground floor you have a chance to do you know 3,000, 5,000, 10,000, and even you know close to 12,000 here in sales at this review count, and you can compete. That means there's enough room for other sellers. Okay, so let's keep going down and keep going down here. We see a high review count, high review count, uh, 441 here, uh, 633. Uh, okay, so again. That first guy was doing real super well, 81 reviews. I'd love to see what his design is because he must have something great. Uh, but I can see down here, 56 reviews, only doing 1,000 a month, uh, 13 reviews doing none, uh, 92, 8,000, that's not bad. So what we have to know here, guys, is that we gotta make sure we have the right design if we're gonna do something like this, right? All right, guys, if we find that guy real quick doing really super well at 81 reviews, doing almost 12,000 sales, we see his design right here. So if you're gonna go into a niche like this, I would make sure you copy his design. Don't copy it, you know, in French, but copy the theme of it because you don't want to reinvent the wheel here, right? Because we see people doing, you know, zero amount of sales, so their design must not be good. But we know if you have the right design, it doesn't matter how many reviews you have, right? People just like it and they want it, okay? So if I'm going to enter this niche, I would do something very similar to this or very similar to the people with low reviews and very high sales, okay? All right, guys, so we have time for one more uh, keyword here. So let's dig into it. So if we go down here, right, we're in that 3,000 range, which again is, is kind of high uh, for what I'm usually looking at. Uh, but, you know, if we can get a one that's even higher in searches versus 1,000, 2,000, we know there's even more demand, right? And so we go down, we can even see rose gold bathroom accessories, right? So we can get random ideas of all this. So if we look here, uh, 622, uh, we've got a rose gold trash can, which is kind of cool. Uh, we go down, I'm sure there's all sorts of different products. We have a Q-tip holder here, right, guys? Uh, we have different designs and sets here. So let's look at sales here, guys. If we go all the way to the top here, and let's see if there's anything that catches the eye uh, as for, you know, rose gold doing really well because, you know, we're all over the place right now, right? We see that there's uh, toilet paper holders, toilet paper roll uh, holders right here, trash can, Q-tip holder, right? So what we're going to try to find is a niche with really low reviews, right? A product with really low reviews and really high sales. And then we're going to take a closer look at that niche as a whole, okay? So going down here, we got uh, 680, 90, 622, okay, two high reviews, this, these top five or six here. Let's go down here, uh, 57, only doing 600 in sales, don't care about that. 73 uh, reviews, but 9,000 sales, that's super cool. What is this product? That's the Q-tip holder, okay? So next, guys, what I do is I go up here to the search bar and do rose gold Q-tip holder, and I wanna take a look at this niche, okay? Okay, so we can see that we have all sorts of different Q-tip holders that are all rose gold. I'm going down here. I see, you know, 11 reviews, 271, uh, 410, 699, but these are a little different than most of them here. So we can go down, go down, 47, 181. So we have all different sorts of Q-tip holders. So let's try to find the best one with the most amount of sales and the least amount of reviews. So once this is loaded here, we can start to take a look, right? We got this guy doing 9,000, right? Uh, 2,000, 5,000, 29,000, uh, just for a rose gold Q-tip holder. That's insane. Uh, let's go down, go down. So my first thought here, guys, is I do something super similar uh, to this guy, but I'd probably add a whole set to it, okay? And so I know this guy's doing really well, right? And there's not a lot of competition for the Q-tip holder 
that he has, okay? So what I then would do is I'd pair this guy up maybe with one of these guys, right? Because you can have cotton balls, you can have Q-tips in it. And so, you know, they have universal purposes and we know they're the top selling, right? So that we know people want them, okay? So if we go into a niche that is super unsaturated, right? And this certain Q-tip holder that no one else is selling, and then we pair it, we pair it with the top sellers, then we have a bundle no one else has, and we know there's real demand there, okay? So that is how easy it is, guys. And I shouldn't say easy, right? Because it took me a long time to build these skills to be this creative and start to think these ways and, and think about products in, in different ways than other people, right? And you saw how on the keyword research tool, how I didn't limit myself to just shower curtain, right? I ended up in a niche of rose gold bathroom accessories that ended up being the best opportunity of the whole video, right? So you see how this works, right? You have to go down rabbit holes. You have to start thinking uh, different ways and, and finding different products, right? And so I hope this was helpful. I hope this gives you a little, you know, click in your brain to say, oh, I can, I can do this. And I see how he's being creative and I see how no one else could possibly find these ideas that he's finding uh, just based on, you know, keyword research tools, right? So if that was helpful, uh, hit that like button, guys. Uh, give me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know you watched this whole thing. Let me know you got to this point, right? That means a ton. You know who you are. You got this far. Let me know you got this far down below. And also subscribe if you want more videos like this in the future. Don't forget that coupon code for Helium 10 if you need it, okay? Awesome, guys. We'll see you in the next one.